Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff Mullen. I'm founder and CEO of Dynamics. We started Dynamics to solve some of the largest problems in payments that we have. We've raised over $110 million. The last round was a $70 million round led by MasterCard and the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. And our products today touch millions of consumers globally. We have two business units. The first business unit is an interactive computer and a card product. Uh, consumers can take cards to the point of sale. There's buttons and displays, and they can select different bank products for every transaction. The second business unit is a real-time authorization-based security and loyalty engine so that as consumers press buttons on devices, we can instantly and immediately provide them with secure value at the point of sale. Today, we're going to introduce a new product that aims to solve some of the issues with PSD litigation. We're going to provide best-in-breed security and best-in-breed cardholder control. We're also going to introduce one of the most revolutionary technologies uh, we've ever introduced on this stage. Before we do that, we're going to go through some of our existing security and customer control products, uh, and then we're going to get into how we've taken pieces of this to form a great PSD2 product. We can go to the overhead. This is our CIBC uh, double-double card, multiple cards in one. You can press different buttons for different products. The Visa button turns the card into a Visa card. It has different data when you press the Visa button. It has Visa track one, track two data. It will run a Visa operating system in the EMV chip and a Visa operating system in the contactless chip, and it will run Visa applets off of that. You use this card for credit, you earn rewards. We shift those rewards into a closed loop prepaid account so that you can pay for, with your purchase using those rewards. This is a non-Visa closed-loop account. Um, it has non-Visa data on the Magstripe, a non-Visa operating system, and a non-Visa applet. How does this card perform for CIBC? This is the fastest-growing retail co-brand credit card in the history of Canada. It has among, if not the most, highest reward redemption rates out of any product um, in uh, payments. Uh, and Page seven of Charlie Shar, former CEO of Visa's annual shareholder letter, this is what he singled out to show uh, about innovation. From a security perspective, we have best in breed security products. To turn this card on, you enter a password into the card, you enter the right password, and then your number is displayed visually, so you use it for online and card not present. Then writes the stripe, loads EMV and contactless chips so you can use it in a store. After a period of time, everything erases. Uh, so if a consumer loses the card or the card's um, stolen, it's irrelevant as a dead piece of plastic. We also have dynamic security codes uh, that are presented for online purchases that change every time you make an online purchase. And then we write different data into the Magstripe. We actually have a Magstripe security code. So if the card's lost or stolen, it's irrelevant. No one can make a card using, sorry, the, the compromised data. Today, we're going to introduce a completely new technology that actually combines both. This has three different accounts that can be stored with three different network applets, can be run off of three different processors. And when you select an account, it will actually show a dynamic DCVC2 uh, or DCVV2. And we also have that technology on the Magstripe. What can you do with this card? You can provide anything you want. You can provide, for example, a global network credit. You could do a domestic network debit. You could do an open loop pay with points, so you have shared loyalty, and those points can be redeemed anywhere. This completely addresses PSD and PSD2. Uh, it offers multi-factor security, complete customer control, and it allows the issuer to route transactions the way they want to route by using different PANs and having a single PAN strategy on a multiple uh, product relationship. Uh, so you have put three cards into these cards. People are going to use it three times as much. People say, how long will this card last? The answer is forever. Dynamics released already technology into its cards that have natural organic recharging, so that as a consumer goes throughout their day, the cards naturally recharge themselves. This is a watershed moment for interactive payment cards. We can now put any technology into any card and use it as much as we want to and never have to change the consumer experience. Wait until you see the products that we're going to be releasing. How much does this card cost? People are very confused about what, how costly it is to work in payments. Cards are incredibly expensive. If you do a high-end card, like a metal card, maybe in the tens of dollars. If you do a precious metal card, it could be in the hundreds of dollars. The truth is that it costs about 2 to $3 to deliver a card, to make a card. 
one or two dollars to load data into the card. You have postage, you have fulfillment materials, you have personalized promotion materials, and you also have the actual fulfillment services. At a completely conservative perspective, it costs about five dollars a card to deliver a card into a consumer. You now have three cards in one. This card will reduce cost by fifteen dollars. DCVC1, DCVC2 technology can save about three dollars an account a year. So you have three accounts, you save nine dollars in costs. Over five years, you save forty-five dollars in costs. One of the most friction-oriented experiences in cards is when someone loses a card. Uh, you can have people that have to call up a call center. A fraud investigation has to be started. They'll temporarily stop using it, and maybe they will permanently stop using the card. When you have a card, you typically have a two percent uh, loss rate. When you have three cards, a person may lose one of their cards six percent of the time. When you put three cards into one, they will lose that card less than two percent because the card has more meaning to them. That saves about an extra fifteen dollars in costs. This card reduces. About seventy-five dollars in cost to the bank.、Uh, that's just one of dozens of cost reduction features that exist with this card. How easy is it to, to, for us to make a card? A bank will have a primary and secondary card manufacturer. They ship embossing files to those card manufacturers. We receive the same files, and instead of shipping three cards, we ship one. For the dynamic security codes, we work with the networks and the processors, so validation can occur there. And the authorization can stay at the bank. There is no startup cost to launch this. There, your systems do not have to change at all. Additionally, when you have three cards with someone, let's say they want to cancel their credit account, they'll call up, they'll cancel it. People do not call up to turn off one of the buttons. They keep the product on the card. You can try and reactivate them at any time, and you can have a deeper, more meaningful relationship while providing PSD security. And PSD control, where you can route the transactions where you want to route it. Thank you very much. I'm Jeff Mullen, founder and CEO of Dynamics. We're right outside. If you want to take a look at the cards.